Welcome to Textonation. Joining us is Matthew Fonte, the founder of a company called Sigma Phase with a product called Cold Snap. Thanks for joining us, Matthew. Hello, Fred. Thanks for having me this morning. Appreciate it. Well, what is Cold Snap other than the winter weather coming in? <laughs> Cold Snap is an appliance that we're developing, that Sigma Phase Corp is developing, to freeze um, frozen confections like ice creams and frozen smoothies and frozen yogurts and frozen cocktails and frozen coffees on demand. You essentially put a can, aluminum beverage can, filled with your ingredients, could be an ice cream mix or a coffee or a cocktail like a margarita, into our machine, and within 60 to 90 seconds, it freezes the ingredients and dispenses it right from the can into the bowl beneath it or the dish beneath it. So there's no need to clean the machine because... The ingredients never touch the machine. It's a single-serve um, appliance that is used to make uh, frozen confections on demand. And I guess if people were envisioning this, they should think something like a Keurig or something along those lines. Exactly, a Keurig for ice cream. It's, it's really interesting, but tell me about how this is going to work. Uh, uh, is it uh, you're going to be making the uh, the canisters with the ingredients so that people would buy from you, or are they going to be other companies, third parties making them, as we see with Curie? Well, we plan on um, launching next year, in the middle of next year, and we'll be selling them directly under our Cold Snap brand. But we are talking to larger companies that have well-known brands to do some kind of licensing partnership. But initially, it'll be our own brand. So we'll we'll uh, fill the ingredients in our plant, and as we scale and get into larger productions, we'll move to co-packers around the country that specialize in filling uh, ice cream into uh, various containers, or it could be another co-packer that specializes in um, putting cocktails into cans and other packages, and we'll use them as our respective co-packers as we get into larger production. A couple of things that might come into the minds of consumers would be um, uh, the, uh, the the waste involved and and how you're handling that and and the cost per serving. Okay. Um, well, we're intentionally making our packaging an aluminum beverage can, so it's 100% recyclable. As you would recycle a soda can, you would do the same for our pod system. So it's 100% recyclable. And uh, in terms of the cost, we're envisioning $2.99 a pod. Now, that may change, uh, but right now that's our plan. What are the advantages, uh, what would you tell consumers, to, to using your system over you know, buy, buying ice cream in the store or, or going out for it? Okay, yeah. Well, we felt that um, we, kind of call, we kind of call it premiumization. It's a premium product. Because we're freezing on demand, it's a, it's a fresh product, and um, it's extremely creamy and smooth. And so it's a really delicious product, and it's frozen on demand. So instead of having to get into your car to go to, say, McDonald's or Dairy Queen, you could have it right in your office or at your home, or you know maybe these could be in cafeterias at universities or hospitals or any place, you know, a large office, any place where a lot of people are gathering. And one of the real advantages is the personalization. If you want a chocolate ice cream and I want a strawberry banana smoothie and the next person wants a frozen coffee and somebody wants a protein shake, we can freeze whatever you want, one serving at a time on a personalized level. Additionally, um, there's no need to keep the pods refrigerated. So instead of having to keep a whole bunch of different flavors of ice cream in your freezer, here in your pantry or cupboard or cabinets, you can keep um, all the pods at room temperature because it's shelf-stable for a year. Well, I'll just say additionally, you don't have to clean the machine. Because the ingredients never touch the machine, um, there's no reason to clean it. So no preparation of the pod, no cleaning of the machine, 100% sustainable because they're recyclable pods, and no refrigeration required. And, and this is designed no to go on the kitchen counter, right? That's right. It's the same size as a Keurig machine, and it's designed intentionally to fit on the countertop underneath the kitchen cabinets and plug into the wall, uh, the, you know, the kitchen uh, electrical sockets. And so it's relatively small. How did this come about? 
Um, well, a couple of years ago, um, I was reading uh, stories with my young daughters at the time. And somewhere along the line, we decided at nighttime, in addition to reading, we would um, create invention journals and we'd come up with the new inventions. And one of the uh, problems that we thought we'd like to solve is how can we make a better ice cream machine for home, a better meaning a more um, convenient way of making ice cream at home. And the idea came up, could we make a Keurig-style ice cream machine? And uh, we thought about it, or I thought about it, and I said, yeah, I think we can. And so I set out to do this, and I pulled together uh, people that I've worked with in the past, and we made some prototypes, and friends and family started investing. And here we are, we're on the fourth uh, version of our machine, and it's going pretty well. And it, your background that led you to be able to do this and even suggest to your daughters that uh, you talk about inventions at bedtime? Well, I come from a family of entrepreneurs, so this kind of thinking is, I guess, in our blood. But, um, I, I, you know, myself, I have over 50 patents, issued patents, and so um, we've invented other things and created other things, and I have a mechanical engineering degree, and same, same with my brother, and we figured uh, we could do this, so we, we set out to do it. What have been the challenges trying to get something like this off the ground during this pandemic? Well, um, besides the obvious not being able to meet with large groups, you know, you know, staying, staying home and wearing masks, that's been an obvious challenge. But dealing with supply chain, everything's taking more time because people aren't, aren't in the office and responding quickly. But um, I'd say our challenges are more technical challenges related to doing something that's never been done before than it is being um, hindered by the virus itself. So what we're trying to do is make a, uh, you know, freeze something in a very small package at an affordable rate. And this is very challenging. And one of our team members has a background on making um, air conditions for planes. And so he's been, he's used to developing very powerful air conditioning units for, that are lightweight in small spaces, and we've been able to leverage uh, his uh, expertise in order to do this. But really, it's been a team effort. We have electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, design engineers, food scientists, marketing folks, and for a small company, we wear a lot of hats and we get a lot done quickly. It's been uh, it's been very fun, actually. And where is it that people can go to uh, to find out more about what you're doing and, and keep tabs on things and maybe purchase when the time comes? Well, we have a, a, a website that we've just popped up. It's uh, coldsnap.com, and we're also on Instagram and Facebook. You can find us on YouTube. And um, if you're ever in the Boston area, you can, you can look us up and come over and have an ice cream, and we'll be happy to uh, you know, share the experience with anybody that has an interest. Very cool, literally. So it's called Cold Snap. <laughs> the website, once again, is coldsnap.com. Matthew Fonte, thank you for taking the time with us. Thank you, Fred. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Now this. It takes a lot of listening to build a better radio, and that's just what the folks at Sea Crane have done. Bob Crane and his crew, nestled among the rivers and tallest trees in the world in Fortuna, California, have made a habit of listening to their customers. And that's just what they've done in building the CC Skywave SSB, the Swiss Army knife of portable radios. For everyday listening to AM or FM in the yard or patio or on the nightstand, without having to drain a mobile phone battery, it's a great companion. But it is also a companion equipped for NOAA weather information and alerts that can be life-saving. You can listen to FEMA and Coast Guard transmissions, too. Beyond all of that, you can tune into shortwave signals from around the world. It's compact, easy to take with you, and built to last. The CC SkyWave SSB. Click on the link at textination.com.